because I like to read the funnies. Some good theology in the comic strip. And a couple of my favorite cartoon characters are Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin's about a first grader, and Hobbes is his uh, stuffed animal tiger that uh, he views as being alive. And picture the scene, if you're mine, on uh, a Mother's Day morning with the alarm clock saying 5 a.m. Calvin is standing by the bedside of his mom. And he goes, hey, mom, wake up. I made you a Mother's Day card. Mom kind of bleary-eyed and rubbing her eyes and looking at the alarm clock, looks at Calvin and says, how sweet. I did it all by myself. Go ahead, Ma. Open it up. Read it. I did it all by myself. <coughs> and so she opens the envelope, and these are the words that she reads. I was going to buy a card with hearts of pink and red, but then I thought I'd rather spend the money on me instead. <laughs> it's awfully hard to buy things when allowance is so small. So I guess you're pretty lucky I got you anything at all. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. There I've said it, now I'm done. So how about getting out of bed and fixing breakfast for your son? <laughs> Signed, Calvin. <laughs> Mom looks down and replies, I'm deeply moved. <laughs> to which Calvin says, hey, did you notice the part about the allowance? <laughs> now some of you moms out there may feel like Calvin's mom. You think that the things that you do and, and, and the things that you go through for your family are unnoticed, unappreciated, you look at society and the culture has almost made being a mom a negative thing. Something not to aspire to and something not to uh, be longed for. And maybe you're here this morning and you're wondering if anybody is going to even say, thanks mom. Thanks for all the wonderful things you do. Thanks for being there. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for loving me. Being a mom is a tough job. And it's why we want to recognize this morning and honor you today for the work and the job that you do. I understand that there's no perfect moms. We all have our uh, shortcomings. We all have uh, our flaws, our quirks, our little things that, that we do. We try really hard and we try really hard, but there's no such thing as a perfect mom. We were sitting the other day before Bible study, and um, I know you find this hard to believe, but I was complaining. And I was talking about, i got to call my mom every week. You know, and she doesn't remember a lot of the conversation and it's circle talk and, 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 and I was going on and on and, and uh, dear brother Ralph has such a way of, of bringing you down to earth in love and he looked at me and he said, I wish I could call my mom. Thanks mom. Begin to think about all the things that my mom did, all the things she put up with growing up. We need to say thanks to our moms because of the impact that they have on our lives. And I just want to take a, a, a few moments and look at a few verses of scripture of things we need to say thanks, mom. <laughs> Take your Bible, go over to Genesis chapter 3. <laughs> 
And the first thing we need to thank our moms for is because they gave birth to us. God told Eve, in verse number 16, he says, Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. 